Okay, guys, so we're gonna start here from side control. Okay, my goal is to recover my close guard. In this case, we're gonna attack it straight up to the omoplata. Okay, so very important when you're in a close guard, okay, there are two main points that you, want, you have to focus on. Okay, first, your right knee following your opponent's heels. Okay, it's like if I'm trying to go to knee on belly on my partner. If I'm on top, I will try to go to knee on belly to catch the mount. Okay, uh, this will be instead of, go, I will go to knee on belly to then catch my close guard. That's, my, that's the goal pretty much. Okay, but again, my knee is not just up. I'm gonna be always looking for the side of my partner's heels. Okay, yes, I just need to put the tip of my knee in front of her uh, hips and connect my elbow and knee together. If my partner, for example, drops the hips down, it's such a right knee, exhale. I would drop my knee, see? My, so my knee always follows the heel, okay? So that's one point. Finish this up with My opposite elbow, my right elbow, I wanna keep it always on the ground, okay? So my partner doesn't pick it up because then I would not be able to turn toward my opponent. So I always wanna keep my elbow on the ground. Okay, so you can have room to start shrimping out and then also start creating a space with my forearm. I cannot let them pick up my elbow. Okay, so that's the two main points. So I'm gonna start here, knee goes to the hip, toes on the ground here. I don't like to put my foot flat because there's not that much power. So I'm gonna put my toes on the ground right here so my bridge can be very strong. I'm gonna bump my partner and at this moment, it's not about bench pressing my partner, it's about shrimping away and using my forearm to hold the position for a second. So my elbow and knee can connect together here. So I don't give them again the space to, to go to that uh, side control. Left, arm, left leg goes over my partner's back right here. And this is gonna help me now also to catch my opponent in my guard, but also with my right knee to extend my upper body. Again, it's not about bench pressing my opponent, okay? They're, I'm not gonna be able to push them. They are latched to the ground. And I have frame, okay, to push myself away. I break that control that he uh, that put my hat, hat on my head, okay? And I wanna use my two hands to block this arm. Always thinking like if it's a self-defense situation, I don't wanna get punched in the face, I'm gonna block this arm, okay? You're already catching this arm, okay? Your opponent, if they, if they, if they have a situation right now, if they lean away, I will completely record my guard. So they don't want me to just record my guard. They always wanna to try to close the distance. So that's the, that's the time, okay, for me to start connecting to the next step. Frame, create the space, and my knee goes in front of my partner's shoulder. See, I'm already clearing my right foot. My shin goes in front of my partner's shoulders, and now I'm gonna push myself back even further. Boom. Now I connect to the Omoplata. Right hand can cut the elbow to create the L form of the position. Left hand can go to the belt. Right leg comes out. You can use your foot on the shoulder to help you rotate, and then you have your, uh, your Omoplata position. Once you're here, head on the ground, stretch your legs forward, help yourself to seat up. Really force your partner's shoulder to be on the ground. And goes over the back, grab the far lapel, knees together, focusing on rolling on your partner's shoulder. Slowly lift your hips up, boom, sorry. You get that position. 